in this video guys i'm going to share with you you know mistakes you should avoid when you are trading boom and crash market all right as a beginner or if you even though you are a professional and you don't know this please listen to this carefully okay i've made most of this mistake and i don't want you to make them as well okay and mostly beginner traders tend to you know fall for this mistake as well all right now what is this mistake that i'm talking about when you see that the market have been buying for a long period of time most traders won't tell you this do not look for a buy at that point and also there's a saying whereby you know follow the market trend if you see a buying market you buy if you see a sell market you sell you do not do that this is not currency this is not currency pairs it's not like the forest market right whereby you follow the trend line whereas once the market is buying you buy once the market is selling you sell no this is boom and crash this is a highly volatile market the market buys and this market sells okay it may, it may you may think it's buying but before you know it it has dropped all of a sudden okay so if you don't understand this type of market you may not know how to trade it well for you to be able to trade this market you need to know what you are doing all right okay now what i'm saying is that now take a look at here now this market have been buying this market bought from here up to this point you can see if the market have bought over 10 candle ticks do not place a buy if the market have bought if you let's say you are into this market you just logged in into your 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 mt5 okay and this market have bought more than 10 candle ticks do not look for a buy what you want to look for is a sell entry position and when i say that you should look for a sell entry position do not just place a sell immediately okay it's kind of you know let me say complicated do not place a sell immediately and do not place a buy what you want to look for is a possible sell entry okay a possible sell entry that means that you need to do a proper analysis use your good indicators to help you look for a sell entries okay so you do not just enter into the market and you see that the market have bought over 10 candle ticks and you just place a sell no you do a proper analysis first setting the parameters for your indicators you observe the hourly time frame before you look for a sell entry but if you want to place a buy entry is literally you know wrong the reason i say that is wrong is because the market may drop in price movement so you see that this market once it buys it sells it buys it sells so these are highly volatile markets all right if you take a look at this point right here where it says at this point okay on average right here it says on average one drops occurs in price series every 500 ticks okay where it says on average one drops occurs in price series every 1000 ticks okay so this means that every 1000 ticks the market tends to drop in price movement which is this this is this market on average this market tends to drop on average after 1000 ticks but it does not always work like that so you see that's why you see that the market will bought a, bought a little it will sell you will buy a little it will sell so on the crash market always expect many crashes for this market to crash take a look here you can see many red lines the red lines are much than the blue okay are much than this line right here okay so if you are training this type of market do not be so you know do not be impatient this market is mostly traded with patience so you want to be so patient that you does not you do not let what's going in the market to bother you and do not regret ever missing an entry in this type of market when i started in you know boomer crash market i didn't know much about this and nobody you know told me any of this these are what i learned from the mistakes that i made from the countless of you know accounts that i lost this made me understand that this market is not friendly at all this is business and you should take it 
like business so before you put in your capital into this type of market you should know that this market is either a win or a loss okay that's it is either you win or a loss and you want to be in the winning side all the time all right so when you fell for enter into this market when you see that the market have been buying for a certain period of time the market have bought over 10 candidates do not place a buy you look for a possible sell entry you put in your indicators to help you see the next price movement okay the reason i said that you should not place a buy after 10 candle ticks okay is that once the market have bought after 10 it's possible all the time that this market would sell after that you see that after i said this let's say from here now to this point is about 25 or let's say 30 candle ticks and you see that the market drops immediately and if uh, even after this one candle ticks it drops again and if it, after this theory it drops again and people may think that let's say traders may think that after the market have dropped from here to here then they should place a buy no you don't want to place a buy at that very point what you want to do is to use in your indicators to help you see the next price movement go to the one hour time frame let's go to the one hour time frame right now this is crash 1000 index now let me ask if you are in this market on the one hour time frame what do you think that is the next movement on this type of market? Alright, so the next movement on this type of market is that this market tends to go towards the downward trend, right? But we can see that this market is now following this structure. Take a look from here. Now, this market will go like this. Take a look. We'll go like this for a certain amount of time before it will drop on the one hour time frame. To confirm this, let put, let's put on the moving averages. Alright. The moving average is showing us good this market is an upward trend, right? Let's zoom out. Okay. You can see the moving average is going upwards. But this middle line right here, which is this red and green, we go like this. Before it will drop, then it will go again. Because right now, the price have not got into the overbought have not gotten to the real overboard is at this middle here but if you take one zoom in it's already at the overboard right but this will drop again but before it will drop it will keep going like this but now let's zoom in by checking here now this market sold right it bought it sold if you take a look at this line now this market have sold up to here let me mark it for you guys from here now you can see that this market sold to this point right here then it retested right now then before you look you start buying it's even buying right now we we'll start buying so what you want to do right here is to wait after the spike that that will come in into this market before you look for a possible sell what you do is to wait for the spike that will come into this market before you look for a buy entry and before you do that buy entry always add the rsi to level the trade the rsi indicator put in the macd indicator now the macd shows us that price has gotten to the 10 so here the market should buy just like this price go here so the market should buy then before you know when it starts creating an upward trend the market will sell so right now you do not do anything in this type of market like this right now you do not place anything you do not place a buy but you want to look for a possible sell entry so that is an entry point for you to look for a sell entry and if you place the sale at that point the market may you know yes perfect take a look market just dropped at this very point remember i told you guys this is not a point whereby you want to buy it but you want to look for a possible sell entry position and the market need to start creating an upward trend before the sale would come but at this point the MACD did not create an upward trend before this the, the sell came through. So these are the loopholes this market tends to follow. Alright. 
these are the loopholes now you can see that i said whenever this market have bought over 10 candle ticks you do not place a buy now one of these is very accurate do not place a buy when you see that the market have bought over 10 candle ticks all right because there's a higher chance that the market would sell immediately you place a buy after that all right so i believe after watching this video you know that this market takes patience and you now understand the the mistakes okay there are other type of mistakes as well but these are just the few mistakes you should watch out for when you are trading this type of market all right so if you found value in this video do it to like and subscribe to the channel the daily forex for more some trading tips and strategies i'll see you guys on the next video you can see the market dropped again